and 1000 naira notes you can use these currencies till the day. hello and good day welcome to my channel i am okocha be myself now it's breaking that um supreme court has finally notified the cbn and president muhammadu buhari's um, order banning the code naira notes i'm talking about the 1000 naira note the 500 naira note and the 200 naira note now i want to read out the summary of the judgment for you it said the defendant ought not to be heard when it had refused to obey the orders of the honorable court now the plaintiff are the governors who bring the case before the honorable court why the defendant are people who are supposed to respond i'm talking about the cbn and the federal government and in the person of the president uh, his excellency muhammadu buhari so the court says that they will not hear the cbn and the president because they do not obey their order when the court insists that these notes should be allowed to be in the circulation before they will hear the case so that is the first thing the court cited on let me read it again the defendants ought not to be heard when it has refused to obey the orders of the honorable court the disobedience of the orders of the court is a sign of the failure of rule of law this suit has merit now Relief granted in favor of the plaintiff, that is the governors, on behalf of the masses of the federation. Number one, the denomination policy is inconsistent with the CBN Act. That the way CBN brought the policy, you know, so urgent and it inflicts pains on the masses. So it, it's against uh, natural justice and equity. So that is the first they cited in favor of the governors that took the CBN to court. Now the second one says, a declaration that the president cannot make unilateral policy without carrying the plaintiffs along. The policy that the president is supposed to make, he's supposed to carry the National Executive Council along, he's supposed to carry the governors along. So the third is, in issuing policy, the president is under an obligation to carry the National Council of States and long. So matters are consigned policy, consigning a currency, consigning um, anything that has to do with the transaction of the nation. The president is supposed not to make such policies without you know carrying the state governors and long because we have three types of government. We have the federal, we have the state, we have the local government. So that is what the court is saying. Now the fourth is say the policy has impended the function of state government. Exactly. So the policy has made the function of state governments, you know, not to be effective anymore. The five say the directive of the president is illegal. Yes, it's illegal in the sense that Supreme Court, the judiciary, you know, branch of government that has the jurisdiction to determine how law goes, how you use laws and all those things says this naira should remain in this note should remain in circulation but the president went on and just gave directive that only the 200 naira note should remain in circulation so that is the number five the number fifth um thing that the court cited that the directive of the president is totally illegal now the final um six um citation the supreme court says that the old version of the Naira notes shall continue to be mega tender with the new Naira note until 23rd of December 2023. This year till December, you are now permitted to use your old Naira notes, 500 Naira notes, 1000 Naira notes. So all these notes are now mega tender. Here we go.